What motivated me to read the Egg Game was actually a workshop I attended. Um, Dr. Sefka taught it. Um, I actually, it was this past year, my senior year, um, four years late, that he said, hey guys, if y'all want to come to my workshop, I'll be telling you how to get an A. This is after I received a C on my first test, and I thought that'd be a great idea to go to that. Um, so I went, and I've never heard such valuable information um, pertaining to study skills. And I left motivated and um, read the A game after that. I applied all the study strategies that the A game listed. Um, I believe there's nine, there are nine strategies um, the book mentions, and um, all of them actually, they're not, some of them aren't just needless information. They're all very important. They actually are sequential um, when studying. Um, it's atten attending class um, is one of the main ones, uh, which that comes as no surprise, um, but it's about what you do in class. It's about sitting in the front row or second row, um, getting there a little early so you can actually be present um, during class and not distracted. How I started to study is actually a week in advance. I know that's not fun at all. It doesn't sound fun, but it's really not fun when you wait the night before. Um, it just doesn't, you only, your brain only pertains your brain only attains about two hours of information. So if you're studying even four hours, your brain is like, okay, I'm done after two. So I've started studying a week in advance. I'll have actually on days and off days, each day two hours of the subject. Um, right after lecture, go over it for an hour, I'm okay, I'm good for that day. How I studied before, very disorganized, um, and this was my first, you know, actually four years of college I've been here, and this is how I studied, was just frantically, you know, trying to find notes at the end of, um, right before the exam the next day. Um, I didn't have a method at all. I just kind of said, okay, um, I'll memorize some information, I'll, um, hopefully the test will be okay, and I'll remember what I had read, um, which, of course, that's not good at all. Even note cards, those didn't really help me because I just mindlessly write them. Um, highlighting, he mentions in the book, is not helpful because you end up highlighting so much and you're, you actually block out that information that you highlight. Um, so, actually, what I've formed now as a habit is concept mapping. The book tells you to do that. It's not a ton of work. It's fun, actually, and um, it's so helpful. I mean, it's 100% more helpful than what I was doing before. So my grades have changed, for sure. Actually, my first test in this class, I made a C. My second test, I made a B. And the next two tests, I made an A. And from that C to those A's, I consistently used the new study strategies that the A game mentioned. Other than concept mapping, definitely giving it a week before you know you have an exam. Um, that is that was so helpful to me to take the pressure off and say, all right, do you have just an hour to devote to school? I mean, you're in college anyway. It's your life. You have to dedicate some time to it. I'd rather it be an hour a day than all-nighters the night before the test. So definitely be a forward thinker and say, I have an exam next week. I can either take the load off now and pace myself, or I can cram and be unhealthy the night before. I felt very tired when I crammed. The next day, I mean, you've heard this from all the adults. They say, you're not going to be able to pay attention during the test. And I'm like, well, no, that's all I meant. I'll be fine. That's not true. I really notice when I don't have enough sleep, a solid eight hours. I mean, I'm old now, but it's true. A solid eight hours 
is um, the way to go. And you can't do that when you're cramming all night. So um, taking the test on a rested mind is the best way to go. I highly recommend this book to you. It's not just another book to read. It's something that you can easily read. It's a short book and you'll develop habits that can change your grades like me from C's to A's. Um, and concept mapping, by the way, the book tells you to do it. It's fun and actually when you read things from now on after you read the book, you're, you can form in your brain a concept map as you're reading. It's all about connecting ideas and when you connect ideas, um, he talks about the brain and brain of Hager, the class I, I'm taking. When you connect those ideas, you learn a lot more efficiently than when you just read, you know, scatterbrained about all the different facts. I'm hoping that y'all will be motivated to read this book. Um, simply, I mean, I'm one of so many who have read it and so many who have been affected in a great way. I'm a senior now, and if I could go back to freshman year, I'm kind of begging y'all that um, it would have been just so great to have read it my freshman year. Um, and I hope that's motivation for y'all, that um, a senior is telling you, hey, you really need to do this because your grades will be so much better if you do.